with this pole vault final just about to start on the uh, 200 meter bend round there. There's the fantastic performance of Ilana Isinbayeva's world record, 5.06. Well, I don't think we may not see anything near that today, but they might get close to the five meter mark. There we are, there's the lineup of the athletes in this. Newman, the Canadian record holder, McCarthy, third in the Olympics, Rickson, third in the European Championships, Morris, second in the Olympics and second in the World Championships, Stefani, the Olympic champion, where well, she goes in yeah, sixth place in the run-up, Muir of Canada. She's going down through the rest of them, the World Champion Silver, obviously go. there the in the last place final. on the run-up, number 12. So the normal fanfare before the start of a final. Let's meet the 12 finalists Here we go, here's the 12 finalists. Alicia Newman, Alicia Canada, Zuma. the Canadian record holder. Sees his best of 471. The bronze medalist, Alicia McCarthy from New Zealand. 482 this year. Then from Sweden, Alinjiga Rickardson, third in the European Championships. Sandy Morris, wow, what a performer. She is second Olympics, second in the World Championships, the American. And Karina Stefan is the Olympic champion. Athens, the side. And then from Canada, Anika Newell. Second in their championships, but made it to the final here. And they're competing for one of the neutral athletes, Olga Maluna. Oh, this is it, the crowd will love this. Ollie Bradshaw, fifth and sixth in Olympic finals. Can she do better here today? He's a bit stitch. Germany, third in the European indoors. In Switzerland, Nicola Borcher, fourth in the World Indoor Championships. And we have Unido of the uh, Venezuela, the South American champion. And then finally, the reigning world champion, Silva of Cuba. The 12 of the Volters will be just getting ready now, the last stages. They've been out there for some time, just preparing. A long time, actually. It's not very warm, I must admit, here in the stadium. So a lot of these uh, women have got their tracks on until the last possible moment before they take it off and get ready. Wind, I don't think, is a big problem for the uh, pole Volters. Sometimes, if it's a crosswind, it can pull them away from the bar, or if it pushes them into the bar, it can be a major problem. Well, Paul Vox now underway, and the first on the runway. Alicia Newman of Canada. Opening vault here, high gun progression is at 4.30, the opening vault. So reasonably comfortable for these uh, vaulters. Well, having said that, I hope I didn't uh, put a curse on Alicia Newman. But it's uh, probably easier for these athletes to get used to the conditions on their first vault. The wind is... As I said, just changing slightly down there at track side. Angelica Brixen. Coming in at that opening height of 4.30. Just indicating that maybe a little bit of a problem with the runway. Not a crowd noise too. I think it really distracts the vaulters. in European bronze medalist 2015 and in the indoors in 2016. Bogging well with so far, he's been fourth in Oslo and second in Stockholm, so a lead into this competition has been pretty good. Let's 
still waiting, I think, for perhaps the wind just to die a little bit. They've just taken the cone away from the runway. Packed stadium here tonight. Not a seat available. Really has been a fantastic turnout by the spectators for these championships. And I think the athletes have really appreciated it. Not sure why she's taking her time here, but she's not happy with something. Well, she's looking infield, isn't she? So she's either waiting for the clock to be set so she can start, because normally athletes, when they look to their left, they are waiting for guidance from their coach to maybe tell them to go, because they're the kind of wind monitor. <laughs> Bergetson now coming through. The Swede, opening height, 4.30. Oh, oh! Wow. She was miles over it, really, but uh, I to look at the camera. It sometimes gives us a bird's eye view of that bolt. I think she was well over. She's happy. I don't think she was disappointed, but she just caught it, I think, on her way back down from the apex of her bolt. Look at that. Yeah, just caught it down. She had a massive clearance, really. She can, of course, adjust the uprights if she wants to, to just put, move it in a bit if that's the problem she wants, or it may just be that her run-up wasn't quite as she would normally expect. So, thanks on going across to uh, consult her coach there. Meanwhile, Annika New, Canadian, sorry, second in the Canadian Championship. She's taking some of the athletes are missing out on these earlier heights, so we're skipping from one to another. Some of them, I think, not a bad idea to get an early bolt in at the lower height just to get used to the conditions and the uh, atmosphere in the stadium. Annika Newell just talking to herself, going through the uh, rehearsal of what she's got to do. Well, Stephanie, she's not due to enter this final until 4.65. Holly Bradshaw, 4.55. But some of these athletes, like you say, Steve, want to get a feel for the runway, get a mark on the board. Uh, we've seen sometimes some of the favourites coming in so late that they have a, a major disaster in the vault. So it's not a bad idea just to get, so, oh, well, not a bad idea just to get an early vault in, just to see how you go. These girls have, have qualified, these women, I should say, have qualified for this vault. So for the uh, final of the vault, by jumping close to this height to start with, so there shouldn't be any problems, really, for most of these athletes. Now, still no one over it, really, which is, uh, well, maybe a bit surprising, but it's uh, early days. Bineado of Venezuela, the South American champion now. Just looking across to her coach again. As uh, Kathy said, they almost uh, conditioned to doing that now. He's checking the wind for her, I think, making sure that there's no problems, but that is much of a wind down there at the moment. The stadium now that it's got the uh, the roof on it almost stops all wind down at trackside I think still looking across here we go the first attempt at fourth as you said so far none of the athletes that are coming in at the site have cleared it oh that's a big bolt that's good that's inspiring confidence isn't it Good run up. And in the end, very good vault indeed. Some of the early women now moved up to uh, the new height of 4.45. This is Alicia Newman again of Canada. Second attempt clearance at that 4.30. Oh, wow, it was a little bit laboured. The speed dropped off a little bit in the run up, but nevertheless, a good clearance. Early days, as, as we say, in the pot. The pole vault's a strange event in the sense that, uh, obviously, a bit like the high jump, the athletes go higher and higher. You don't really see the true ability. As a long jump, triple jump, they can get a big jump in early on and the game is over, but the pole vault goes on and on and on until finally we have the winner. And here's McCarthy of New Zealand, clear at 4.30 again, taking the uh, prudence of a attempt at four. 45 now, just to get her rhythm going. 
Oh, that's a good clearance. That really was. Well, I see our coach is watching there. Third at the Olympics, well, I'm not surprised that a form is coming back here at the World Championships. It really is. Look at that leg shoot high. Look at the clearance over that bar. I think it's a... Oh, another good clearance at that second height. At 4.45. Well, just that little tumble, a little stumble at 4.30. But now they're starting to get into their rhythm. Sandy Morris now, the American, coming in at this height. Second at the Olympics, second at the World Championships. Whoa! And that's why... Really coming thick and fast now as the height starts increasing. Oh, she's smiling. Another attempt at 4.45 for Mulina, competing as one of the neutral athletes. Well, the Russians are uh, taking advantage of the IWF permission to compete in these World Championships. That's a first time clearance at that height of 4.45. Nicole Buschler, Switzerland. Fourth in the world indoors. Yeah, this is building into quite a competition now because most of these women are clearing this fairly comfortably. I didn't think there was going to be a problem with the wind down there. There was a little bit of hesitation early on, I think. But from there on in, I think they've got their act together. Reynaldo. South American champion coming in again at this height. Well, there we go, another one over. Most of these athletes, their personal best, well above this height of 4.45. Very few of them really in any danger at the moment, anyway. Now, Wesley Silva coming in now. Cuban. World champion, again, taking that very comfortably indeed. Season's best of 481, so we're some 30 centimetres or so to spare, really. Very powerful. Good technique. Alicia Newman, her first attempt at 4.45. Oh. Well, I think that caption might have been wrong. It's 4.55, or I didn't read it properly. It's 4.55, so that's even better for the Canadian. There it is. Looking very happy. Uh, personal best is 471, so again, a lot of these women not really close to their personal best in the vault at the moment as it steps up a distance. Sandy Morris now, her attempt at 455. Olympic silver medalist, oh, yeah, there you go. Well, she only lost the gold, really, by a centimetre from Stefanidi. So maybe this is going to be a bit of a rival match going on here a bit later on as they get closer to their... Better heights, I should say, in the pole vault. Mulliner now, coming in at this height. 4.55 again, another clearance. Russian national, as I said before, authorised neutral athlete taking part, and that's why they've got the blue vests on. Not a national vest, but uh, one given to them so that they can compete here in this championships. Well, here we go. Great British athlete now. Holly Bradshaw, fifth and sixth at the last two Olympics. Oh, wow, Volk goes slightly over to the side there, but nevertheless, a clearance. Well, she, <laughs> she would probably want to rectify that. Doesn't look happy, but nevertheless, she's cleared the height. Going way over to the right of the pit. Still, it's done, it's dusted. Think about the next one. Lisa Ristich of Germany, third in the European Championships. 475 this year already. 
another good clearance. Well, so far, so good for everybody. Ludwig Butchler of Germany. in the world indoors. Qualified easily at the 455, so this is the same height that she qualified for this final. It shouldn't be a problem. Oh, no, just lost it on the run-up there. She's thinking maybe it was a bit of a problem with the wind, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, Fernando now, her attempt at 4.55. South American record holder and the champion. Just being told a little bit of uh, news from her coach was what's going on in terms of the wind. Oh, good clearance. Well, her best, well, season's best and personal best, 4.65. So she's coming close to that now. The next type will be her season's and personal best. So that's a good clearance for her. Silva, Cuba, coming in now. Bending world champion. Just lost the uh, count back in that Olympics by... Oof, well... It wasn't exactly a super clearance, but it's enough. She just touched the bar as she went over. She's going through that in her mind there. But there it is. McCarthy. Oh, that's another very good clearance. Well, you're seeing why this woman is uh, a bronze medalist when she was uh, just in her first year as a senior. Catching up now with some of the previous faults. Angelika Brexit, Sweden. Just that one failure so far at 4.55. Oh, and in the end, that's a good clearance. European bronze medalist. Personal best, 470, 465 this year. So she's uh, getting close to the heights, which could cause problems. Third attempt for Newell now in the pole vault. Oh, oh that's sad. That's the first, I think, of the vaulters to go out of this competition from Canada. Uh, a little bit disappointing. But this is the inevitability of the pole vault. Nicole Buschler of Switzerland. This is her final attempt at this site. 4.55. No. So the qualifying height that they had to do to get into the final is now causing a little bit of problems for these women. OK, so the, the height... The height has uh, increased at 4.65. Sandy Morris now coming in. Clearance. 445 and 455, no problems at all. Oh, she's so fast on the runway, gets a lot of power into that bar. And she's the first woman. So far, failures from all the other athletes at this particular height. Stefanini comes in at this height for the first vault wall. Well, no wonder, really. So easy, that particular clearance. 4.65, I suppose, not really a major problem for this woman, the Olympic champion, but she's breathing a sigh of relief. It's always difficult when you come in late in the pole vault, just in case anything happens and you, and you find yourself really in real problems. Holly Bradshaw, 
Again, checking with the coach on the win. First attempt at 4.65. Oh, no, a little bit slow in that approach. We saw it previously going across to the right of the uprights and uh, just getting that clearance at 4.55. That one, again, slightly going awry there. Minardo coming in now at this height of uh, 4.65. No. Of our women. All clear up into this particular height, but uh, obviously just missing out there. Silver now coming in. Again, all clear so far up to this height as well. Silver medals at the Olympics, you would think that this would be no problem. Oh, but it is. Wow. So far, no one really has. Uh, Gone clear at this particular. I have to wait and see though. The right it's now coming in at a second attempt at this height of 465. The German. Oh, yeah, that's good. Quickly off the runway. It's a little bit chilly down there. They're getting back to putting a tracksuit on. There it is. It's just a second attempt at that height. Second attempt at this height. So far, only three have cleared this height. Morris, Stefanidi, and we just saw Rajic just doing it as well. Now, Leonardo. This is close to her personal best. If she does this, it's been a, a great vault. Oh, and it stays on! Wow. That really did go up and down, didn't it? I've seen less than that fall off, but that one stayed on. Wow, wonderful, wonderful vault there. National record for Venezuela, too. You can't ask for more than that. Let's just watch it again. Just catches it on the way down. It goes up past the camera, comes back down again. And that's the coach. I think he's happy. Yep. That could be a medal-winning vault in this women's pole vault final. You never know in women's pole vault. No, Silva. Just looking at that, thinking, well, maybe I'll have a bit more of that luck if I hit it as hard as that. Just the silver medal, as I said, in the Olympics. She want a gold here. Concentration on her face, look. Coach, impassive. Well, the crowd are really getting excited around there with the pole vaulters clapping, cheering. Here we go. Silva coming in now at this height. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good vault. So, so far, four of these women are clear at this height. All drama going on here. This is Newman's final attempt at 4.65. Oh, close, and that is a great vault for her. Wonderful, wonderful performance. Well, season's best at 4.71, and she is getting close to that. Canadian record holder. Well, that is that 471, so if she's vaulting like this, she might get close to the Canadian record in qualifying. She'll have to if she goes up another height. What a great feeling it must do when you do that, when you clear that bar coming down. Wow, this is McCartney now from New Zealand, her last attempt. Bronze medalist at the Olympics. Oh, caught it on the way up, I think. Oh, that's a disappointment for McCartney. She's had a great season, 4.82 this year. 
is possibly having a little bit of a problem with the Achilles, it was rumoured, but I hope that was over and done with. Bengtsson, Sweden. Oh, no. So, unfortunately, she leaves the competition at the side of 465. Olga Mullina. Competing under the neutrality. And the IWF to take part in this competition. The Russian-based athlete. Oh, no. Close. But not to beat. Bradshaw, her last attempt at this uh, height of 4.65. She's been going slightly to the left of the uh, uprights as she's been attacking it. Fifth, sixth at the Olympics. Season's best at 4.81. This really shouldn't be a problem. Here she comes, the crowd really willing her on. Yes! Oh, living dangerously. So relieved, yes, it must have been really, really stressful in front of your home crowd. Wow, they're really getting behind her now. That's going to lift her, it surely must. Still going slightly to the right there of those uprights, still not quite getting her vault right. If you're going to the right, you're losing height. You're losing height off the pole, and that's not good. Well, she's annoyed with herself, Bradshaw, that she put herself in that situation. We'll bring you the lineup of all the finalists as soon as we can. Morris now, 4.75. Oh, yes. Well, she is flying at the moment. 4.75 is going to be a big jump for anybody, really. Olympic champion Stefan Edi. Just that one vault at 465 coming into this competition. Oh, yeah, yeah, constantly over that bar. Over the season's best of 485. This really should be a problem, but uh, we're getting up there into the stratosphere as far as women's vaulting is concerned. For Stephanie, it's the seventh competition of the year. She's done this height or more. She really has the best overall record. Well, this is the vault of the Great Britain athlete now. Getting, oh, well, that's disappointing, really. This is the height which I think is going to cause problems to everybody. Silver, Cuba. Coming in at uh, first height of 475. Just two athletes have played it so far. Morris of the United States and Stefanidi, the Olympic champion of Greece. Bradshaw, we just saw her just behind. Facing around, she just fouled that height. The British vault up, she's waiting for her second chance there. She's just behind. Silver, though, still waiting for the conditions here. The wind to drop slightly. She's mentally preparing herself. Now the defending champion. Coming in here to stay in the competition, really, I suppose. No. Pole comes up again. Here we go. No. She just wasn't quite ready, I don't think, for that. Two more attempts for the defending champion. The silver, her second attempt now. The reigning champion at 4.75.
Just Morris and Stefanidi clear at this height so far. Oh, no. Well, she's got both knees heavily strapped. And she takes her shoes off pretty much straight away as she gets off the pole vault pit. So we'll have to wait and see whether she can get that last vault in. No, she hasn't got the height. It's not a problem uh, with the technique. She just didn't come in enough with enough, I think, force to get that bar with enough power to propel her over that bar. Well, Newman coming in now at third attempt at this particular height. And if she clears this, I'm pretty sure it will be a personal best. For that, 471. Bar going back up. Indeed, Steve, this for a Canadian record. It certainly is. And if you're going to break a record or a personal best, why not do it at the World Championships for a chance of a medal? Big ask, though, isn't it? As Peter said, she clears this four centimetres above her personal best. Oh, no. And as she came down luckily in the pitch, she didn't really get the momentum needed to carry her over the bar. But nevertheless, Seventh place at the moment for the Canadian. Bradshaw, last attempt at the 475. Fourth and fifth at the last Olympics. Can she come through here? Crowd go wild to get her over. No, well, she hit the height, but uh, not to be. Oh, the crowd really appreciating all the vaulters, but obviously disappointed with Holly Bradshaw, even though she did really well. She's in sixth place at the moment. Watch it again. She's been veering over. Again, there she goes, not centre over the bar. Can't really see from that angle what was the main problem, but she is going sideways over the bar. Technique probably not her best, and she'll be obviously very aware of that, I think. OK. Visage. Just putting a little bit of the... Uh, ..stuff that they use to... Uh, okay, I think it's some sort of... Um, Resin that they use on the bar to get that grip absolutely solid at the top of the bar. Look how high she's holding that bar. Again, last attempt for her. Again, another personal best. 4.73 before this. Oh, no. Well, they're getting up to the heights where it's going to be very, very difficult. You've got to get a personal best to go on any further. And that means that we see Ritic departing this competition in fifth place. Ritic now, her final attempt at 4.75. Oh, not a bad effort, but uh, not quite a personal best at 473. So, as I said earlier, these athletes now have got to clear personal best to get any higher, I think. Very, very difficult. Bernardo. Coming in at this, uh, what would be another national record. 475. Oh, not bad. Well, at the moment, she's in fourth place. 
sorry, third place on the count back. Well, just see now what uh, Risley Silva can do. This is her last attempt. The reigning champion coming in. Oh, it's close, but not close enough. So I think now she's equal third with Fernando. And we're down now just to two. What a competition this has been. Sandy Morris, just one of the two competitors left in this competition now, coming in at a new height, 482. This will be a personal best for her if she can clear it as well. The American goes up. Oh, but no. Two more attempts. She's vying for gold or silver here. Looking across at a coach. World Indoor, an Olympic silver medalist. Having a another fight with her nemesis really Stefanidi and here she is the Olympic champion on count back from Morris coming in her first attempt 482 oh yes oh clattered it a little bit but it stayed on woof yeah Wow, now that moves her into a commanding position here. She's cleared the height, and now Morris has got just two attempts. Oh, wow, she looks up, she was holding her hands up as if to say, stay up there, stay up there. I suppose Morris has now got the choice of whether to go at this height again or move it up higher. Well, Sandy Morris now comes in at the height of 489, a monstrous personal best if she can get there. She's passed up the height of 482 to put the challenge to Stefanidi. If she goes clear at this, it will be not only a major setback for Stefanidi, but it will be a monstrous clearance and a personal best by a magnificent one, but she doesn't do it. Silver medal then for Morris. Well, she gambled it all, and it may have just uh, been too much, really. That's a massive increase in her personal best, almost 10 centimetres above it. So it wasn't to be. Stefanidi coming across and congratulating her. Well, Stefanidi has won the competition now. She's asking the officials to maybe put the height up to a, maybe a world championship record. Let's wait and see. Going back to third place, that will be shared by Silva and Pineda. But the uh, silver medal to USA in the women's pole vault. There's, there's there is left silver. Well, we come back to the pole vault. This one has already won the event. Stefanini now going at 4.91. This will give her the fourth best jump of all time if she does it. And she has! Wow, what a big jump that was! Wow, she failed at the previous height of 4.91. 89. She talked to the judges and said, I wouldn't have done 491. That particular jump, as I said, puts her fourth on the all time list with Silver of Cuba, we saw previously in this competition. Only three other bolters in the history have ever gone higher. Isn't Bay Able, will you expect that? Morris of the United States and Sir of the United States. What a way to win a world championships. Talking to the coach. Wow. Let's just wait and see what the next height is, but uh, we're asking a lot, really, aren't we? Performance from the Brit in second. 
Well, what a competition. This is a third attempt at 5.02, putting a second on the all-time list if she can do it. No, no. Well, I suppose it ends in failure, or does it? I don't think so for this woman. A new record, a new national record, obviously, putting her on the fourth on the all-time list. Just one quick note on that. The reason she went from 489 and chose 491 is that she has done 490 indoors, so it was an absolute best for her. Well, 780 now takes the world title along with the uh, Olympic title she has. There it is. World leading performance, as Peter says, 491. Marvellous jump. Sandy Morris just behind that, 475. And then equal third. Bernardo and Silva for that bronze position. But a national record for the Venezuelan. Wonderful, wonderful performance in the women's pole ball. Well, the music rings round. There's your medalist in the pole vault. Rob Walker looking for some plates to smash. <laughs> Celebration of Stephanie's Greek gold. Well, we better go to a Greek restaurant tonight. We'll get well, we'll get well served. I think we'll probably get double portions, Rob. What do you think? Without a shadow of a doubt. And what a way to do it as well. 491. She didn't just sneak that gold. She absolutely smashed it. Well, it's Greece's first medal. They'll enjoy that one.